Okay, headset died again. Uh, long story short, what I highly recommend uh, for things that you cannot automate is create some sort of a uh, means by which you can post what needs done uh, and then react to it when you've done it. Uh, I'm going to show you our offboarding testing uh, automation uh, channel. So, you know, here you can see our termination kitty is posting in Slack uh, things that we need to do, uh, things that automation won't do. So, Chris test when somebody's terminated. I'm gonna, I know I need to reset that password twice. Uh, I know I need to remove them from all groups, uh, revoke sessions, blah, blah, blah. All of this stuff can be reacted to. And, uh, you know, bam, whatever. Um, this will help you keep track of the stuff. You'll know who did what. Uh, you can divvy up the work however you want. But, uh, you know, this is a, a good means by which you can keep track. Post in a channel somewhere. Um, create a channel in which you can keep track of this crap. Um, but that's been the best means of keeping track of the stuff that automate just doesn't do um, so you know build some IT conditions in there uh, if you want and then uh, if there are additional questions uh, you know at this point you've got you've got a user you've got them in some groups uh, you can easily send out an email uh, letting whoever know um, Hey, uh, this user's been created. It's uh, it's good to go ahead and start uh, assigning them things. It's good to go ahead and send them whatever emails you want. Uh, in our onboarding, uh, I send them a new hire guide to benefits. I direct them to SharePoint. I send that to both their personal email and their new email. You guys don't really deal with their personal emails. Um, you give them their passwords in person usually um, but you know within the form you can get a hold of their personal email uh, much like in your case you're gonna want their personal cell phone um, but uh, within this workflow it's possible to come up with another set of questions and stuff right so we in our workflow we onboard um, like devs and stuff and once the user's created, I email their manager another form. And that form is just a list of crap, like just a bunch of questions, you know, uh, or a bunch of options for services that they have access to, databases that they have access to, things that we need to provision out to them uh, on day one. Uh, and, you know, again, when that manager fills out that form that I email him the link to or her the link to uh, we get the form back and that can trigger another flow right like all of a sudden you've got uh, more things you need to do which you can keep track of in a channel or if you can automate it you can automate it um, I think this is you know the most uh, this is, you know, kind of what I wanted to uh, accomplish today. So what I'm going to do, I guess we'll delete that part. Uh, we're going to save it. Uh-oh. Post in message. Uh-oh. So uh, we, we do have an error. Uh, team is required, channel is required, message is required in post, in channel, or message. So what were we? We were down in here. Uh, yep. So there. This didn't work because I didn't fill this crap out. I'm going to delete. Uh, we're going to save. Okay, and then back here, we'll uh, notice, yep, it is on, so I don't have to turn it off. This thing is live right now. Uh, this I need to collect, so we'll just copy that form. Uh, so again, you know, you have a link to this form. Get this link to anybody that's, uh, you know, allowed to fill it out. Uh, you can control who is allowed to fill these things out 
via the flow itself uh, early in the process you can definitely you know have a step that checks the email form responders email and you know if it's not somebody you want to uh, fill out the form uh, that's a no uh, but again you've already got a condition here saying hey uh, what's uh, does this look good approve it or not so it, it doesn't really matter uh, what I'm gonna do I've copied this we'll just go I just got a beep on my headset, but uh, you know, whatever. If it dies, it dies. Uh, her and Tyler. Tyler Craig. Start date. Uh, you know, HR's uh, letting you know. He's starting tomorrow. Tomorrow at 6 a.m. Uh, T. Okay. There we go. Uh, Lee's the boss. Uh, he's in sales. Uh, he's in LAE. He's in Blue Ash. Do we need to mail his equipment? Yeah. Oh. Oh man, this question is supposed to be what's his, uh, you know, his address. Uh, Uh, that's garbage. Uh, so, boom. That was, uh, that's what happens when you fill out that form. So, let's just go ahead and uh, we'll open up this form. We have one response that you can, you can track this stuff through here. It creates an Excel sheet. Um, let's see, can I view it? Uh, just to open it in Excel. <laughs> so there you go. Got a great table. This is so useful. Uh, you can throw this up in SharePoint. This will keep track of shit. It's wonderful. So uh, harness the power of this spreadsheet. Uh, took me a minute and 11 seconds to create that user. Let's go over here. Uh, let's just refresh. Fuck me, that flow's running. Started running a minute ago. Uh, this gives us a place to kind of jump in, see what's going on. Okay, looks like it's, we got the response, we pulled the details. Oh man, some asshole is out there who should be approving. Oh, thank God this didn't take 10 minutes. So here's what the email looks like. Uh, create Tyler Craig. You can see these are the details that I put in there. You know, role, start date department, do it. Uh, I'm gonna approve. And then uh, you've got this relic in your uh, in your friggin' mailbox. So here we are. Uh, the approval happened that happen uh, oh no manager ID was boolean that's bad uh, I goofed something up somewhere I think uh, yeah so looks like uh, I left uh, manager ID as a boolean which is a true false statement um, not sure. I hmm, okay. So let's just, uh, you know, that, that flow failed. This is, uh, this is what happens. You screw shit up. Or, well, I do all the time. Uh, this was the one. Boolean? Nah. We want a string. Just like the rest. Uh, look at all the strings. Save. So now that we've saved, uh, let's just go ahead and from here we'll test. We're going to manually trigger that. Uh, or well, let's trigger. 
automatically with the recently used trigger. Failed. The one that we just failed. Go. Now, uh, yeah, again, we're going to uh, sit here and wait for Microsoft to email. Oh, Microsoft has already emailed me. Approve. Now again, in the comments here, what you could do if you really like, uh, we're getting deep. Uh, see this, this stuff. Let's say all that was wrong. Let's say the role was wrong. Role? No. He's not a LAE. He's a dipwad. Uh, start date? Oh, you dummies. No. Start date's supposed to be. Uh, the 20th, the day after the next. Uh, you can pull this data from this response, put it back into the flow, and adjust data. Um, it can get as deep as you're willing to step. Uh, oh no! Oh, it had created the user. Oh, I'm a dildo. Uh, okay. I'm so bad at this. Uh, <laughs> there, there he is. Title crazy. Delete. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Uh, let's see if we can't uh, successfully get this float around at least once. Uh, so. Should at least contain one trigger and one action. It definitely does. <laughs> and now this is going to be the the run where it takes 20 minutes for me to uh, to get this message. Nothing cute. Okay, so uh, going back to the flow, we see all of this is happening. Uh, error <laughs> again. Had a member to a team. I don't have permission. Hmm. Oh. Okay, what do we got going on? Yeah, there we go. It was it was the team's fail. Um, I don't know if it's because my connector's not signed. It's probably because the connector's not signed in. Uh, but ultimately, uh, let's see here. I'm just going to delete that. I don't even have Teams. Uh, yeah, Microsoft allows you to uninstall Teams these days, so uh, I don't have Teams on my machine anymore. Uh, I think that's accurate. I might be full of shit. One minute ago. This, we're saving. We're testing. Uh, it does save before you test. Uh, just for God's sake, can I please successfully create a user? Uh, no, I can't actually. Got to delete a user first. Oh. Hmm. Okay, I think it's just taken a second for it to uh, sync and remove this turkey, but that turkey is probably non existent, right? Uh, we're definitely waiting on me now. Uh, I, I approve. I promise. All right, the approval. All the variables were initialized. Uh, the users were. All uh, right, there we go. That is a successful run. Uh, and you can see your inputs here, uh, which is always real cool. Uh, you can use this stuff to uh, 
debug. You can use this stuff to make sure things are working. Uh, there's the password we generate. Kek four six six zero oh, three six eight C. Um, yeah, all that fun stuff. Uh, display name. Uh, there's this email. Uh, but yeah, we have successfully uh, created a user. Oh, you know what we didn't do? Uh, let's do, uh, this is in the manager stuff, right? Why didn't we do this? Uh, add an action. Assign. Damn it, Azure AD assign. Sign that shit, right? Uh, so we're going to sign to our user our manager ID. Again, that's the variable uh, that we set. I'm going to save. Uh, and delete. Uh, we're going to go back to users this time. We're just going to uh, flow this one out again. Let's do it again. <laughs> Bad bio. Start with 26. Lee. Department 6. Uh, uh, LAE. Uh, and you know you can branch this stuff out so that the departments uh, only present you with op options that are within them. Uh, sending this boy to Tampa. Yeah. All right. No. No. F it. Jesus. Could I possibly authenticate anymore within this short amount of time? Let's just go. It's running. Probably waiting on this. Bad bio. LAE sale. Hell yeah. Do it. Boink. Boink. Sign manager. Got some UIDs there. Uh, looks to me like we have a new user named Bad Bio. Uh, let's see here. There's a Tampa. Reports to Lee Goo. That is an object in our AD for sure. Uh, Tampa sales. All this crap's working. Wonderful. Um, let's delete this turkey and uh, go eat some French toast with my most wonderful wife. Uh, love you guys. Uh, we'll do more if this is useful.